Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Thank you for watching this video in which I will be showing you how to make this wallpaper right here. Now apparently in the editing process of my video, this beginning chunk was uh, didn't want to work. It didn't uh, show up, so I'm going to redo it with you guys, okay? So remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe if uh, you're prepared for a long and awesome tutorial. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so I didn't really want to make this tutorial. Um, for a long time, you know, it took me a while to do it, but the uh, demand is quite high for it. So I hope I get a lot of views. If not, oh well. But the reason why I didn't want to make it is because it's you really need a tablet to uh, to make this. You know, if not, it's gonna you can still do it, but it's gonna be kind of hard to get these lines right here and these lines right here on the logo. So uh, I mean, bear bear with me. But if uh, you don't have a tablet. It's still possible, it just takes a long time. Alright, so here we go. The first thing you want to know is your desktop's background resolution. And to do this, you're going to right click your desktop and go to screen resolution. And you'll see mine right here is 1920 by 1080. I have dual screens, that's why I have two of these. Uh, my active one that I'm recording on is this one, 1920 by 1080. So, what you'd want to do is go into Photoshop and type in 1920 by 1080. Alright, you want to go to File, New. For me, I want to type in 1280 by 720 because it's a tutorial, for tutorial's sake. You can either do transparent or background color. Click OK. What we're actually going to do is hit Control Backspace, get our black background, make a new layer by clicking the sticky note looking icon, go to File, Place. I'm going to place my logo. I'm going to size it down by holding Shift and dragging one of these corners. Okay. And uh, there we go. I'm going to place it around there. Bring the opacity down to around 30 something percent. And well, my next part of the tutorial, which actually worked, will take you from here. Alright, the next thing you want to do is actually go ahead and uh, make yourself a new layer. What we're going to do is actually make these lines right here that are on the logo. Okay, so let's make a new layer here. And I mean, it's. I, I, I guess you could do this. What we're trying to achieve here, let me show you with a tablet, okay? Let me make my brush size smaller. What we're trying to achieve here is see how if I press harder on my tablet, it gets thicker and thinner. If I don't go as hard, okay, it might be better if I. Okay, see, that's the kind of effect that we need on our uh, brush, okay? But I guess what you can do is actually get the pen tool, click, drag, and hold, and click. Grab this selection tool, direct selection tool. Right click, stroke path, brush, and simulate the pressure. And you see it makes the pressure. I guess you could do that. That would take a long time, though. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do it with my tablet here and show you what this is supposed to do, okay? So, all right. Make sure you have your new layer. Your logo is, you know, opacity's down, and you're just going to do this. You know, just outline your logo. Make it messy. Okay, that's the whole point of this wallpaper. It's not supposed to be a neat-looking wallpaper. Again, I mean, you know what? You can go ahead and do whatever you want. If you like the neater look, go for it. I mean, this is this is your own wallpaper. You know, I don't care if you follow this tutorial to the to uh, to whatever you know, but I'm just showing you how I did it. Okay, and then you're also going to do the insides. All right, so there you go. I did the insides and outsides of my logo. Again, your logo may actually look different, so you're going to have to determine how to uh, outline your logo when it comes when it comes to this. All right, I'm going to make a new layer here, but this time what I'm going to do is actually outline the V's. Okay. Just like that. I don't want it too neat. Okay, but I don't want it too messy either. Alright, so there we go. And then the last one is this glossy looking line here. Now this one's a little bit different. Okay, this is where we're actually going to fill in. Let me make this logo more opaque or more visible. And you can see it's dark and then it gets lighter. So what I'm going to do is in the dark spots, color in. Oh, not on the logo layer. Whoops. Okay. On the dark spots, it's going to be darker. 
And the light spot's not gonna be so light, okay? So. Something like this. Alright, so there we go. It's really dark over here, and then it gets lighter as we go along. Alright, so. Now we're gonna start adding the lines, the glowing effects to these lines, okay? Let's start out with, this is the outer, right? So I'm gonna start naming my layers. Outer. These are letters. And this is the gloss, I guess you could call it. Gloss part. Now the outer, right click it, blending options. And we're going to go to outer glow. Normal. Turn that to white. Opacity 100. And play with the spread and size to however, however you want. There's no saying that, oh, it's a specific way. I mean, this is all up to you. Okay, I'm going to put mine around right there. Do the same thing with the letters, except the letters, that glow color is going to be red. Let's change that color to red, normal, opacity 100, and change this. Just like that. Alright, and the gloss part, you don't, you don't, you're not going to play with that at all. Alright, now the, the logo. I don't want it to be as, I guess you could say opaque. Let's decrease that to around 30%. Okay, or, uh, yeah, 30 something percent. So there we go, this way. You still want it there to kind of give it that fill in look. Okay, it's turning on and off. But, uh, you know, just kind of don't want it all the way. Alright, so I think the next thing that we're going to do now is actually make these lines right here. And for this, you don't need the uh, tablet because I don't use the tablet for this part. I'm going to make a new layer here and make these below the logo. Make this one below the logo. And this is going to be called uh, glowing lines, I guess. And for this, I'm actually going to get the pen tool. Click outside of my canvas. Click and drag like, like that, I guess. All right. And this is where uh, the brush tool comes in again. And okay, that's too thick. Maybe around seven, that's still too thick. Four, and eh, four is fine, I guess. Let's grab our direct selection tool, highlight all of our path. Right click, stroke path. We don't really need to simulate the pressure, but if you want, that's fine. Click OK. There we go, there's our line. All right. Now, there's probably a faster way to do this, but what I usually do is I just copy this layer down, press V to get my move tool out, and then you know, I'll just do these lines like that. Or I can go with my keyboard to get a precise, you know, I can go uh, down, 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 right, 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 down, 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 right, 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 okay, something like that so we can get a better spacing there. Copy those. You know, it's whatever looks right to you. Whatever you want your uh, your design to look like. Really. Okay. We'll merge those. Copy them again. Now we're gonna go ahead and copy it last time, but this time this layer, we're gonna go to Edit, Transform flip vertical okay now we can move that up to around there ish okay yeah I guess right there um, what I can even do is kind of rotate all of them okay can I do that all right and now since this logo is uh, transparent you'll see a bunch of lines in there what I want to do is merge these layers, okay? So now it's all one layer. Add a mask and delete anything in there. We can actually press the uh, forward or backslash button, whatever it is. It's above the enter key on the keyboard. So we can see our mask, uh, what we're coloring on our mask, okay? So you'll see that red stuff? That's actually our mask. And that's what we're deleting. If I take it off, you can see that stuff is gone now. Or what you could just use, do is use the white and black colors to uh to delete and such. Okay. I'm just gonna get it out of my logo. 
Doesn't have to be the neatest ever either, so just like that. Okay. So there are the lines that are off of the logo. Looks pretty snazzy. Alright, now what we're going to do is actually add the lines that are over here. Kind of gives it that abstract look. Okay. To do that, we're going to make a new layer and name this what little streaks? Little streaks. I don't know. And I'm going to grab my tablet here. Bring my brush size down some. Make sure my color is on white. Hardness can be on 0% or 100%. Doesn't really matter. Make sure my brush tool is actually selected. And start to put in some lines in. All to one kind of center point. You know, you want to focus all these lines on a certain point. Just to kind of give it a look. Now, we're going to actually give these lines some glow. So let's right click that layer and go to blending options. And the outer glow, again, I like to use a white color. And screen to normal, opacity 100%, spread and size. Let's play with these. I think it looks fine. 9% of 5 pixels. Okay. Alright, and now the outer glow lines also add a glow to those. Outer glow, same thing. White color, normal, past 100. And I always crank these way up, and then I start tuning them down like this. There we go, 2% of 16 pixels. That's... So I'm going to set it out right now. It's probably different I'm on my real wallpaper, but whatever. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is make a layer above these two layers, okay? Above little streaks and glowing lines, make a new layer. And this is going to be called color. This is where the color comes in. Change the layer style to color. Bring out a brush. Right click, make sure that brush is pretty big in size. Okay, and now we grab our colors here. I think the first color I used was red. So there we go. Color that red. Awesome. Next one was like what? Like a cyan or something? So more. There we go. It's like a blue color. Okay, we'll go back with my red really quick. And just dab a little bit. Alright, next color is what? Green? Grab green. Color like that. Next is yellow. like that. Next is like a dark bluish kind of color. There we go. And lastly, we're going to get like an orange color. Right about there. See? So, I mean, that's how I accomplished that effect. Now, we're not finished. What we're going to do is actually make a new layer, but add this way at the top, at the very top of the whole list, okay? And we're going to name this black lines. All right, now these lines, what we're going to do is actually grab this uh, square shape, make sure it's on black color, and just drag across like that. Okay, transform tool, and I don't want them too thick, I guess. So right around there, copy it, move it, right there, great. Now we can actually merge these, cool. So anyway, those black lines kind of gives it that like HD look, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so now you can see why it wasn't so important that I left this off there, uh, because well, kind of cuts it off anyway. All right. Now the last thing we need is actually these black lines here. Okay. If you notice, they get smaller as you go on, and the spacing gets longer, gets wider as we go along. So let's create a new layer. This one's going to be under the black lines. Again, another square, and this one, it's going to be quite thick around there. Cool. Uh, let me move this actually to the end. Control T. Okay, so there we go. It's thick. Now I'm going to copy it over. Okay, and this one's not going to be as thick. And not that far apart. And copy that one over. This one's going to be skinnier, around there, okay, and this one actually right here, I'm going to move it a little bit closer, and this one right around there, that's cool, alright, and then what we're going to do is actually copy it again, 
Move it over. This one's gonna be really skinny. Like that. Okay. And then copy one more time. Move this way over. And there. This one's gonna be skinny, skinny. Like that. Cool. So there we go, now we have those lines. But we have one more thing to do, which is add these white lines to it. To do that, I'm just gonna merge all these all these layers together. So all those black lines we just made, they're all, into, all in one layer. Right click that layer, blending options. Go to stroke, change the stroke color to white. And there we go, done. The size is three pixels. I think that looks pretty good. So that's how I made that wallpaper. Thank you for watching this video. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I know it was very, very long. And I'm making this video, if you notice, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Really, really, uh, just crazy with school right now, you know? A lot of work. Just got finished doing a lot of projects right now, but, uh, whew, this is the only time I get to make this video. So sorry if I wasn't as enthusiastic as I usually am. It's really late at night. I have to get up really early in the morning. But, uh, yeah. I still have a lot of studying to do and stuff, but, uh, there you go. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for my effort at 2 o'clock in the morning. Again, I know it was really long, but bear with me. You now have a fantastic wallpaper on your desktop, right? If you file and save it as a PNG or whatever. Thank you for watching. Oh, you know what? I'll add this. I'll add the PSD without my logo, though, in the, uh, in the description, okay? So you can just slap on your own logo and add your own lines and stuff. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.